Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Antoine believes what he eats is his business. Do other predators feel that way, too? Would any prey like to respond? Muriel, does it bother you when Antoine tries to eat you? Just because you're on opposite ends of the food chain doesn't mean you can't work to... Huh? It doesn't mean you can't... <clears throat> it doesn't mean you can't work together... I'm sorry, but the more you distract everyone, the longer this will take. I am listening to you, but if you really want to be heard, you should join our Predator Prey support group. Then you could talk to everyone here. You could teach all these hungry predators the delights of a carrot-based cuisine. Sorry, everyone. I think someone just wants a little attention. Now, since we all need to get along, what if all predators promise to only eat vegetables while staying at the sanctuary? <laughs> oh, Sandra, you can do it. Look like chaos, but Fluttershy makes it work, even with Angel running around. Ooh, perhaps I can help those two get along before something here can go terribly wrong. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Zakora found this little guy and brought him to my office. But I thought he might do better at the sanctuary. Bringing him here seemed the right thing to do. I've never seen geckos breathe smoke, though. Have you? Oh, I certainly haven't. I thought we could take a look at his diet. Plus, it's about time for me to give all the animals here a checkup. That's a wonderful idea. If we really want to know what's going on, we need to make sure the problem isn't your food. I wouldn't worry too much. It's probably just something he's been eating. Oh. Oh. Um, is there anything else we can do for you? Ah, seeing what you two do, the real question is, can I help you? You mean me and Angel? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's fine. We're fine. I, I just don't always have time to indulge him. But we're best friends. Even the best of friends need help from time to time. Come visit me in my hut, should you change your mind. Okay, thanks. But Angel and I are great. Oh, goodness, Fluttershy. Is this the list of what you do every day? How do you find time for anything else? Between here and teaching at the school, I'm not sure I do. You're gonna love it here, little gecko. What is it? Not fluffy enough? Oh, sorry. We need to see if your food is causing your issue. Made to look like chocolate chip cookies. They're vegan. Pinkie Pie made a whole jar of them. They're all yours if you promise. 
No more trying to eat Muriel the baby elephant. <gasps> no, Angel. I have too much to do. <coughs> oh, careful, girl. That neck is still pretty sore. Don't forget to shift your weight, Scout. What does she want? Her neck is feeling better, but a massage every day for the next week wouldn't hurt. I'll add it to my list. <laughs> Fluttershy, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. This place would be a zoo without you. <laughs> Angel! Listen to you for once. Just what exactly is that supposed to mean? Come back! Well, whatever it is, you're the only one he can tell about it. Little fella just wants you all to himself. Unfortunately, that's not an option. Oh, he's not causing any real trouble. <laughs> Other than that, possibly. Or that. I'll just stop talking. Huh. I'll take care of it. I hope this is important, Angel. I barely made a dent in my to-do list for today. Concentrated carrot extract? That's for reviving energy-sapped herbivores. Are you feeling run down? You just like the taste? Oh, Angel, that extract is in short supply. What's gotten into you? Every day this week you've been causing trouble when I have work to do. Of course I know you can't talk to any pony else, but that's not my fault. I have responsibilities. <sighs> You're right. We can't go on like this. I guess we do need to see Zakora for help. No need to sit in silently, Stu. Tell each other what's bothering you. He's so impatient, even when he knows I have work to do. Well, that's not true. We talk all the time. Of course talking at the Sanctuary counts. That's where I am when I don't have a class to teach. What do you mean that's the problem? You feel like I'm the only pony you can talk to and all I do is ignore you. Well, I feel like you don't care about my responsibilities. <laughs> um, as you can see, we're kind of at an impasse. Ah, such luck you're coming here indeed. Behold the antidote you need. Is this what you meant by help us? When trouble brews between you two, turning sister against brother, true understanding is what's due. Each must come to know the other. There's no time to waste. Go directly home. But you both must taste when you're finally alone. Not yet, Angel. Sakura told us to take it together when we got home. Hmm, I suppose we could dust off the old picnic blanket. It'll be just like old times. We'll drink the potion and settle in for a nice tea party. I can barely remember the last time we did that. I've been so busy at the sanctuary. Though... I really need to keep an eye on Zakora's gecko, and I haven't finished any of today's chores. If I don't, the animals won't get the care they need. Oh, maybe we should just save the potion until after- Angel! Zakora said to go home first! I know she said we have to take it together, so I guess I have to now. I wonder what it's gonna do Hang on, hold up. Am I a pony? Why am I a pony? <laughs> Question. Did we switch bodies? Seriously? I'm a pony? La 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 la. Talking is so cool. 
Do you think this is what Zakora meant to happen? How are you gonna do your chores? Really? That's what you're worried about? <laughs> well, maybe I don't want to switch back. I've only been able to talk to you since we met, and now I can talk to any pony I want. Roses are red, violets are blue, you sell flowers, and so do you! Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> toy ball, toy ball, toy ball. Yeah! Oh, come on! I am so too listening. Quit being so bossy because. <gasps> are there carrots around here? You think Sakura gave us the wrong potion? So you're gonna go to her hut in the forest and get something to switch us back? All by yourself? You really don't know what it's like being a bunny. Good luck with that. I'm gonna go find those carrots. I need to finish your chores? <laughs> I don't work for you, and caring about other animals is a you thing. <gasps> the stair? You can still do that? Ugh, no fair making me do your bidding against my will. I'll go do your lame chores while you go see Zagora. Anybody know where that useless list of Fluttershy's chores is? Hey, Fluttershy! I was starting to wonder if you'd make it back. Fluttershy! Oh, yeah, uh, that's me. Definitely Fluttershy, uh, 100%. Okay, see how... Shy I am. I talk to animals. I want to marry Discord. Your list is over there. Oh, yeah. There's my good old list of chores that I will absolutely not rush through because I definitely do not have better things to do. Well, well, well. Remember me. Uh, I hope the gem tart stall is still there again. I could use a snack. You nearly bought every tart they had last time, Spike. I can't imagine they wouldn't show up when there's a great customer like you. Oh, hi, Angel. What's going on? Do you know what he's trying to say? Nope. Sorry, Angel. You should probably find Fluttershy. If I see her, I'll let her know you're looking for her. until you start to develop a taste for it. Uh, check Muriel's trunk. Eh, uh, seems fine to me, as long as we don't need those keys. Anyway, let's see. Massage Clementine's neck. <laughs> Out to switch legs? Huh, probably best not to wake him. Did the thing with the thing, yada yada yada, animals, animals, animals. All that's left is monitors of Cora's gecko until bedtime. All right, dude, how about we do bedtime now? Yeah, eating makes me tired too. Which reminds me, there's some carrot extract with my name on it. Okay. Let's get you fed and off to Dreamland. What do you eat anyway? What do you say, Snake? Can you find something else to eat if I borrow those cookies from my friend here? <coughs> huh? Sure, that's normal. There you go. Problem solved. I don't see what's so hard about this job. Fluttershy is such a wife.
quite a day, my fuzzy friend. Did things work out for you in the end? I'm sorry, dear bunny, that things seem so grave, but I don't understand when you sign and wave. A single link to all the world, only one in all the land. How special she must be to you, the one who understands. Perhaps if you explained what you wanted to some pony who understood, if you truly felt heard and valued, all would return to good. And if you were to both apologize, having learned this little lesson, I imagine that might bring an end to the friendship therapy session. Fluttershy, do you mind helping me look for Muriel, the baby elephant? Oh, she's having dinner with Antoine. <laughs> Antoine the python? He was on the list. Remember, Antoine wants to have Muriel over for dinner. Not over for dinner. He wants to have her for dinner! Wait, what? chores on your list, huh? Didn't you? Well, technically I did them, kind of. But more technically, it's not my list. You wrote it! Did I, though? What's gotten into you? You do not want to know. Huh? Angel? What's wrong with her? Him? What happened? He's exhausted. Fluttershy, I need a jar of concentrated carrot extract. Stat! <gasps> it's locked in the supply room. Where are your keys? <sighs> Any ideas how to get the keys out of the elephant that's inside the snake? Okay, point taken. And I totally deserve it. I did not provide you with the care that Fluttershy would. But now you know what it's like not to get the level of attention to which you've become accustomed. The point is, Fluttershy is trapped in my bunny body. If we don't help her, maybe none of us will get her attention. I get that you don't want to help me, but don't you want to help her? Here goes nothing. <gasps> now we just need to get those keys out of there. <laughs> So grateful. I can't believe she does this every day. I just wish I could tell her myself. What? You're awake. It was so hard getting to Zakora's hut and impossible getting back. You can't believe I survived like this? Well, I can't believe you work here every day. These animals are crazy. No wonder you don't have time for me. My life is hard? No, your life is hard. You never appreciated me? No, I never appreciated you. You're sorry? I'm sorry, too. Come here, you little bunny who's a pony who's a bunny. Oh my goodness, I'm back! I'm a pony 
again. Oh, Angel, I promise to always make time for you from now on. What do you mean maybe I won't have to? You want to do what? And that's when I realized Fluttershy doesn't have to be the only one I talk to. I can come here and talk to all of you. And now that I know how much work goes into this place, I suppose I could kind of, sort of, help out every now and then. Oh, Angel, that is so sweet. But now that I know what you go through every day, I understand why your time with me is so important. I promise to always make time for you. Turns out your friend here doesn't have a problem at all. He isn't a gecko, he's a fire lizard. I forgot that before they get their flame, it's hard to tell them apart. <laughs> I'm glad to discover where the source of it lies, or the fire that he breathes would be quite the surprise. Speaking of surprises, can you please never do that again? 